This would be a nice busy time right now. At local Q707, they weren't cooking today, just doing some cleaning and prep work. Our kitchen can't function. I haven't purchased a large enough generator to run the whole restaurant yet. So it'll the generators that I have just keep things cold and so we don't lose any product. Outside, just the hum of generators. Inside, the kitchen is quiet. And as we spoke with them, they explained the situation to people who stopped by hoping to get something to eat. We don't have power, unfortunately. Yep. So we're closed. No we're, food today. No food today. It's been a challenge recently here between the pandemic, evacuations for the glass, fire and the public safety power shutoff. The pandemic and then the fires and the, the power shutoffs just add on top of that, but I think it's down at least 50%. Late this afternoon, the power came back on and they will be open again tomorrow. I don't have power. At PG&E's Community Resource Center in Calistoga, this student stopped by. He needed to charge his phone. He's gotten school work done elsewhere. I got to go down downtown to the part that that are power. Um, luckily, my girlfriend have have power where she's living. PG&E said late this afternoon the numbers keep climbing. 82% of customers who were impacted in Sonoma County now have their power restored. 50% of the 5,300 customers in Napa. As crews inspected power lines to make sure there was no rin related damage before restoring service. Over at Silverado Ace Hardware, they know the community has been through a lot recently. They're stocking up to make sure they're ready for the next one. We try to always have generators in stock um, just because you never know. And again, back here live, the sign today was closed, but they plan to be open again tomorrow. And again, the latest information we have from PG&E is that they're 90% restored for all areas, and the goal was to have that at 100% by 10 o'clock tonight. Reporting live in Calistoga, Christy Smith, NBC Bay Area News.